You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. For the community, by the community. Yes, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Lucio Chalky. I'm with West Hartford Continuing Education, and I run the trips for the adult ed program. And uh, this is my first uh, taping back after a few months, so I have some great updates for you on trips that are coming up. And the first one that I wanted to share with you, uh, this will be aired in June, so you will have time to call Continuing Ed to register for all of these trips. I understand the first one will be on June 8th, which is great. Um, my first trip after this taping is on uh, the, uh, in the city of Boston. Uh, we are visiting, for the first time in 17 years, the city will be sponsoring a tall ships extravaganza. And what this is, is a trip to visit the ships, to see the parade of sail, and really to generally uh, celebrate uh, naval history in Boston. There is a race across the Atlantic that will end in Canada. It is the 150th anniversary of the uh, Canadian Commonwealth. And the stop in Boston will be over the weekend. We will be visiting on June 18th, which is a Saturday. We'll be visiting early in the morning. And I have a full schedule of sites for you to visit, culinary destinations, um, tours on the ships that will be docked already. There'll be more coming in that day. So I have a really great day planned for you. Um, I lived in downtown Boston for 10 years and really know the waterfront area, the north end area, the downtown area so well and can uh, provide great information for you to have a fun day. It's a great family trip. Uh, bring the kids. Uh, they really enjoy the ships. So we uh, have registration open. We have a few slots open for that. So I would encourage you on not only this trip, but all the trips to you know, register as soon as possible to make sure you're uh, situated well. And we give you great information on that. Um, on June 25th, um, I am doing my annual Newport Flower Show trip. And the Flower Show trip to Newport is a great trip. It's a very a uh, beautiful mansion that is decorated. Uh, the theme this year will be Paris. So you'll have fr a French theme. And the Preservation Society of Newport County uh, was started by uh, Consuelo Vanderbilt. Uh, there is a huge mansion called the Breakers, which is very visible that day. However, the show is at Rosecliff Mansion on Bellevue Avenue and is decorated beautifully with floral displays. It is a juried show, so there will be judging. And the Preservation Society puts on a really wonderful show every year, and I think this is our 15th year in a row. And what we also allow you to do on this trip is to stroll the wharf area, enjoy the waterfront, uh, give you some culinary tips about great places that you can have a bite to eat. Some of the other sites there, there's a Newport Art Museum, there's a museum with Newport history and the Brick Walk area. Uh, you may visit um, the other mansions while you're there. You can do the cliff walk. So there's a lot to do in Newport and they're very, very um, knowledgeable, the visitor center is, um, about everything that's going on. And I think you really will very much enjoy the show. I have what I call my Newport regulars coming. And also one of my regulars uh, goes to the International um, Tennis Hall of Fame, which is on Bellevue Avenue, and she enjoys it every year. So if that is your little side interest there that's very visitable that day, but the flower show has wonderful upscale vendors, wonderful view of uh, the water from the back. Just a gorgeous day in Newport, and I hope you can come with us. Uh, we're definitely going again this year. We have a sign up, which we're confident will go. 
And on July 1st, which is a Saturday, we'll be visiting my annual trip to the Statue of Liberty and Ellis Island. And this is a trip I do every year. It is such an important trip, especially these days with uh, the immigration uh, talk going on. Uh, this is a, a, a beautiful trip to explore our immigrant history. What we do is we leave from Battery Park, we get on the ferry, and we first visit the Statue of Liberty, and the trip includes a trip to the museum at the base of the statue. So you will have a chance to see the original crown, uh, which Bartholdi, the designer, uh, designed for the very original Statue of Liberty. And you'll get to see the history of the friendship of France and America in the museum. And you'll be able to visit the balcony, which is the very first step. It's about 10 stories up. You take an elevator, you see the beautiful view of the water, and you get to see Lady Liberty up close. She's beautiful, she always has been. And then what you do is you get on a ferry and head over to Ellis Island, which is the Asheville Immigration Museum. And that is a chronicler of our immigrant past. And it is said that 30% of Americans descended from those who came from Ellis Island. And it was an immigration station until about 1952. So it was fairly recent that um, immigrants had come through Ellis Island. And when you walk into the lobby, um, you will see immigrants' suitcases, the one suitcase that they came to America with on display. You will see rooms filled of information, of oral history. Um, you will see, uh, you will have an opportunity to see where everyone came from when they immigrated through Ellis Island. You will be able to walk the Great Hall where the immigrants waited to be checked in to the country where they were registered. Uh, they are now in the process of fundraising to uh, refurbish the hospital where some of the immigrants had stayed during their, their trip. Uh, there is an opportunity in the future to visit that. So they're a very vibrant organization, the National Ellis Island Foundation. You can also do genealogical research right on the Ellis Island computers, which they have staff there that can assist you. If you know of someone who came through Ellis Island, if you have a family member who came through Ellis Island, they will be able to assist you with that. In the back of the museum is a wonderful immigrant wall of honor sponsored by the foundation. And it has uh, folks who came through and uh, have been honored by their family members with a donation to the foundation. You can put up your family name on the uh, foundation wall, and it's always expanding. There's a beautiful tour. The National Park Service runs the Statue of Liberty at Ellis Island tours, and they are frequent ones during the day and they do a magnificent history. And also on both islands, you can get an audio guide. So you could take, take a self-paced tour throughout both islands and take it at a leisure. We've had some terrific folks who have, you know, ancestors who've come through um, the island uh, in previous years and have told us their story. So it's a really uh, active and vibrant uh, trip, uh, even today. It's a very relevant trip and it's a, it's a beautiful day out on, on the uh, in the water in New York so hope you can come. I think there are a few slots available but this trip fills up. Uh, we do get full buses so if you are interested at, at all uh, I'd re encourage you to register early. On uh, August 11th um, I will do an annual baseball game. This year we will be visiting Yankee Stadium to see the Red Sox take on the Yankees. And we have outfield seats and left field, some very good seats. I think you'll really enjoy it. I have regulars who come every year. We get reacquainted every single year. And uh, this is a, a, another uh, chapter of the rivalry. And this year we have some fantastic teams on both sides, fantastic players, um, uh, what I like to call a dogfight at the American League East. And uh, we really enjoy uh, both Yankee Stadium and Fenway Park. And I encourage you to come, register early, you'll have a good time. It is an evening game, so we leave at two, which allows you time to visit uh, the Yankee Stadium has the center field uh, mem memorial to the past Yankee greats. And also there is an interesting museum right in the ballpark, which you can visit prior to the game. So as soon as the ballpark opens, you can certainly go there. And we really enjoy baseball. We are a baseball program. 
and we are always looking for a great day at the ballpark. So I hope you can come with us for that. It will be a great time. On September 30th, this is a brand new date for us. Um, we have a annual trip we do to this wonderful city in Rhode Island called Providence. And they have a exhibit at the RISD Museum, which we tour. We do a guided tour of RISD. It is a gem of a museum in New England, and the placement of objects is one of the best I've ever seen in a museum. The design is gorgeous. They have everything from medieval and Roman art to contemporary art. They have a room full of textiles, which is gorgeous, and the docents do a really wonderful job of explaining uh, the history of the art in great detail. There's the Chihuly, um, sculpture in the museum, which is of great interest to a lot of folks. And they do a really, really nice job. They're very welcoming. They do a terrific job. What we also do is, in addition to water fire, uh, which is, if you've ever been, what they do is they play beautiful music and they have gondoliers glide, glide along the three rivers that converge in downtown Providence. And it's a beautiful family event. It's a beautiful charity event. And this year, um, they have um, some great music attached. That schedule is just out. So I think you'll really enjoy listening to the music, strolling along the waterfront, and seeing what Providence has to offer. We also visit this wonderful area um, in Atwells Avenue called Little Italy. And it's full of great Italian restaurants, Italian shops, a uh, wonderful bakery, Scala Bakery. Some of those bakeries have been there for several generations. Uh, there's a wonderful shop that sells cake slices called Pastiche, uh, which is fantastic for dessert. And I give you some great information about uh, the restaurants and what they offer. And it's a really terrific time in Providence. And I hope you can come with us. And on October 7th, We'll be visiting the 9-11 Museum in New York City and the Memorial. This is a trip that we do on a regular basis and we go into New York City and we, I think we honor those who have, um, who had perished that day. And it is a, a tribute to those in that the historic day, we all remember where we were that day. And we will have a, a tour of the museum. We have a timed admission to the museum. And the museum generally takes about two and a half hours, and the whole area has been rebuilt. And you can also visit the memorial at your own time. And also nearby is the very significant St. Paul's Chapel, where the, the volunteers and the firefighters uh, and the you know, emergency personnel uh, stayed for six months while the cleanup was happening. They have a 9-11 uh, plaque, a memorial uh, display for you to visit. And also Trinity Church on Broadway also is a very visitable place. They also have a great um, market nearby called Le Market, which is a French market. And you can pick up some culinary goodies to take home. And there's really a, a, a terrific place uh, to, to visit. There is also the American Express Memorial, which has, um, they have about 11 employees who perished that day. And they have a beautiful memorial to those who who were their employees, and that's very visitable that day. So I encourage you to come to honor those who have um, given their lives that day. And uh, we give you a lot of great information about the historic importance of that day, and really just um, you know appreciate uh, you know the folks who took care of everyone that day. What we also do on um, November. Fourth, we will visit the uh, Union Square Green Market. Uh, we do a foodie trip. I do two food shopping trips to New York City called the foodie trips. And we'll also visit Little Italy and Chinatown. And the Union Square Green Market is the largest and best green market in the city. And they have vendors from six states come on a regular basis. And it is great to visit late fall with all the produce, the vegetables, there's fish, meat, uh, there are baked goods galore. Um, there's a wonderful stand that has uh, wonderful root vegetables. Uh, there is a great store nearby called Agata and Valentina, which has wonderful Sicilian specialties, pasta, um, 
really terrific place uh, nearby, and there's a, a Chelsea Market nearby, which you may also visit while we're there. And also there are shops that pop up along the way that we share with you that day that are really fantastic to visit. So please come with us that day to Little Italy in Chinatown. There's a couple of great stores on Grand Street which have been there for several generations, and we encourage you to visit. There's also uh, Katz's nearby. There's a great Asian supermarket on Canal Street called Kaman, a great tea shop called Ten Ren. You may have uh, a wonderful uh, dim sum at a great restaurant called Golden Unicorn, which is on East Broadway. And there is a Chinese museum that is very interesting, visitable. There is a Buddhist temple right on Canal Street, which is great to visit and to spend a few peaceful, serene moments in the hustle and bustle of Chinatown. So I encourage you to come with us on November 4th. And on December 2nd, I do my annual, what I call uh, the longest day in New York, the best shopping day in New York City. Uh, this is the busiest shopping day for New York City, uh, the first Saturday of December. Uh, what we do is we uh, come back at a later time than usual. We come back at nine o'clock. So if you are interested in taking um, a tour of a museum, uh, do something holiday themed, shop till you drop, visit a friend, visit the Radio City Holiday Show or, or a myriad of holiday activities. This is the day to do that. So we give you a little extra time. I give you a lot of great information that it, about things that are going on in the city that particular day so you can really enjoy the day. On Tuesday, the following Tuesday, we visit the Radio City Holiday Show. Uh, we have been going now for, I think this is the 17th year we've been going to Radio City, and we get great orchestra seats, and the show is tweaked a little every, you know, two or three years or so, really refreshed, uh, but the famous Rockettes perform, you see Santa, and you see this wonderful skit with the, the big brother, the little brother, and Santa, which is really uh, terrific. Um, we really have a great crew that comes with us that day and really enjoys it. Some folks come again and again. Some come for the first time and they totally, completely enjoy it. So please come with us. Uh, we'll be having registration uh, in the next couple of days. By the time this is viewed, uh, we'll definitely have registration open for that. We'll have pricing um, in our continuing ed program. And the other thing I wanted to announce today for the first time, this is the world premiere um, I will be sponsoring myself personally, outside of Continuing Ed, a bus to the New York Chocolate Show. And I want to tell you a little bit more about this because it's fantastic. We had a trip some years back where we sponsored it with the programs and in the last couple of years they have not had a chocolate show in New York. And I am a big chocoholic. I love it. And it's, you know, part of my daily routine, my, da my daily menu. And uh, I've spoken with the folks who are running it and have gotten some good feedback um, about uh, the uh, logistics of it, uh, the place where it's going to be held. I've gotten really great information about uh, how they're running it, what they're doing. And basically um, what they'll do is have a tasting of chocolate from chocolatiers all over the country and they will have demonstrations of chocolate, they will have hands-on workshops, they will have lectures about chocolate, and on the Sunday that we're going is October 8th, it is, um, there is a chance to vote for your favorite chocolate. So what could be better than that, to taste chocolate and vote on it? So uh, I will be sponsoring a bus, and I will uh, leave my phone number for you, my email for you. So if you're interested, please give me a call or email me about the chocolate show. Um, we will be going, um, leaving fairly early and giving you a lot of time to visit the show and coming back uh, approximately, you know, eight to seven o'clock or so, which will give you plenty of time. I believe you're also going to be able to purchase chocolate at the show. And this is a great return of a chocolate show to New York because the one that we went to was really fabulous and some of the folks who were involved in that are also involved in this too. So if you contact me, I'll let you know. I will be sponsoring a bus only for this. This is something that uh, there are tickets available online and I will give you the website to purchase tickets 
and tell me um, that you are coming. I will keep um, track of everyone and we will have an enjoyable time in the city. And this is my first trip outside of Continuing Ed, which is which is inspired by Continuing Ed. So I'm thinking we're gonna have a really lovely time. The bus is booked. Uh, I'm, I'm ready to go today. It would be fantastic to go, to go today. But um, you can contact me at 860-305-8762, or you may email me at touristbydesign, T-O-U-R-S-B-Y-D-E-S-I-G-N at gmail.com. And I'd be happy to, you know, give you more information, give you the website where you can order tickets. And we're, we're, we're going to have a very enjoyable time at this. So if you have a registration um, that you'd like to process through the Continuing Ed program, uh, their number is 860-561-6900, or you may register online. You can actually open up an account at West Hartford Continuing Education through whlifelearn.org. You can go online, create an account, and take care of any of the trips. And if you'd like to receive a catalog from Continuing Ed, you may contact me. I will make sure that it goes out to you. We have a schedule that's coming out uh, shortly in June from West Hartford Continuing Ed, and also another catalog with these trips and more that will be upcoming um, at the end of summer. We usually send out a catalog around the last week of August, uh, which is registration, um, you know, uh, information is in there. And also today, actually, uh, we are working on a trip to the Westminster Dog Show, which is the best in show in February. We'll be ordering tickets, uh, very nice tickets, at Madison Square Garden for the show. This is a trip we've done in previous years, which we're resurrecting. And uh, it's, it's fabulous if you're a dog lover and we, you know who you are. You know you're a passionate dog lover and you know you're all out there. We've had some fabulous trips um, to the show previously, so I'm very happy to be coming back. So the second day of the show will be February 13th in the evening. We will go there early and generally what happens with the Westminster is they have a program off-site during the day. So we'll be leaving early enough to be able to enjoy that and then have a short break before the actual show at 7.30 at Madison Square Garden. So if you know your dog lover, if you know of dog lovers, please contact the program. We will have information out to you as soon as possible. We'll be able to register you as soon as possible for this. So I'm very excited to be um, sponsoring my first trip for 2018 and sharing that with you. And please be in touch um, with me and I'd be happy to you know, tell you more as time goes on. And also, uh, you may check online uh, with the programs for things that are going to be added. We are adding things on a regular basis in between my trips. So if you, you know, look at the online offerings, you will see things until my next show. Um, there may be something that comes up. Please feel free to check at any time, and we welcome your feedback. I've been doing this with Continuing Ed for 20 years, and have enjoyed every bit of it. And I remember walking in and saying, I really want to do a trip, and to have them very pleased that I was able to, uh, you know, suggest that to them. So uh, please, you know, I love suggestions from you about things that you'd like to do, places that you'd like to go. So. Please keep them coming, and I thank you very much for listening, and have a wonderful afternoon and wonderful evening. Thank you.